we're still looking similar vocabulary, trying to find the same five uh, vocabulary terms, but looking at now a graph that is for the function x to the fourth minus 4x squared minus 2. Just uh, another reminder that my end behavior for this is now even because my highest degree is four, that is an even number, and positive because the number in front is a positive one. That'll help us next week. So I just wanna make sure that we're kind of remembering that stuff. If I'm looking for my minimum value, I'm looking for turning points that are turning, uh, I guess the shape, kind of looking like a cup. And I actually see that both of those points are hitting at the same place, which is helpful. They're both hitting at y equals negative six. So for that first point, I'm just gonna be writing that my minimum is at y equals negative six. Both of those would be my relative minimum because they're both hitting at that point or at that lowest number. My relative maximum or my highest turning point is here, it's hitting my y-axis at negative two. So I'd be writing y equals negative two. My zeros here are at negative two and positive two. So I'm going to write those in right now. And I might be thinking to myself that if I'm looking at this, I should have four solutions, but I only wrote two down. And then in the last slide, I said that if it bounces off of the x-axis, so if I had hit it and then gone back the same direction, that would mean I have a multiplicity. But in this case, I don't. So I think that these are actually the only two real solutions we have. We would probably also have two imaginary solutions as well. Okay, so the only ones that I can actually write in right now, the only real solutions I have are x equals negative two and positive two. My domain, is from left to right. I see an arrow on the left and the right hand side. I know that that means that even though they're kind of both pointing up, I know that they're gonna keep going left and right forever. So I'm thinking about that going on forever in both directions. I'm actually gonna write it this way this time, negative infinity to infinity. Remembering that that still means all real numbers. I could choose any x value I want to plug into this graph, and I would get, uh, I would get some output. I'm going to do the same thing for my range. The bottom of my graph here is not an arrow, though. The bottom of my graph is actually hitting at a specific x or sorry y value. The top, though, both of those are arrows up. So if I see those arrows and I know they're going upward, I know that's going towards positive infinity at the top, and I'm hitting that x-axis at that minimum value, which was at negative six. So if I was gonna write that, I should be writing negative six as my lowest or my starting number. The highest value I have is infinity. Parentheses around my infinities always. And then I'm going to put a bracket around my negative six because that's included. That is an actual point on my graph that I can plot. It's not a it's not an open circle when I'm looking at that. 